Last time you joined us as we moved on board. So we're here. Home. Stocked up on all the important things. Artificially flavored. Who would have guessed? And discovered not everything was in ship shape. tuned in last time, you'll know that we're in Blue Lagoon in St. Vincent. Our plan is to sail south to Union Island, the last island in the Grenadines. From there, we hope to get our COVID tests, and if they let us out, cross the border to Karakou, the first island in Grenada. It all sounds pretty simple, but not knowing the boat means just about anything could happen. Good morning. Today it's going to be a really good day. We need to get a couple of things sorted this morning, and then we're hoping to head off this afternoon. So we need to head into the marina first to fill up with our diesel tanks and we can't wait to just get going get the sails up it has been roasting hot here in this fairly sheltered protected anchorage it's been really rolly um, because of the breakers behind us so we're looking forward to just getting out getting some space getting the sails up and just seeing how this boat moves the guys at Barefoot, we turned up saying, okay, we, we just like to borrow your pontoon and, and fill up our water tanks. And uh, Andrew, he's kind of heading up operations at this side of things. He well, said, oh yeah, that's fine, just come straight in. And there's a particularly shiny boat right here <laughs> on the end of the pontoon that we'd have to be right next to. And yeah. then just as we're like, okay, should we jump out and get ready? Andrew says, no, no, it's fine, we'll do it. And they jump in the dinghy and they've gone off to get the boat. Uh -huh. So we're just really lazy sitting around here and uh, we still haven't done our first docking. That's ridiculous. <laughs> They're so, too nice. Seriously. Thanks, Andrew. Cheers, man. <laughs> They've just brought the boat in for us and started filling up with water and then said actually they can fill our diesel tanks as well, which is awesome because it means that we don't have to try and get through the really tight mooring field to get around to the marina, which I was getting really nervous about. So actually we're just here, we're getting filled up and then it's straight out. It's easy. I know, water, right? Diesel, a chauffeur brought the boat to us. <laughs> this is the life. From here, basically it all will be filled, we topped up. We might not be able to get any more fuel on this side, but we will on that side. And then through those markers and away we go. And with that, we fired up the engines, dropped the lines, and with only one or two near misses, we were on our way. Alright. Caribbean sailing. Not bad. Seven knots with one sail out. I'll take that. And pretty much just leave the sail out, don't touch it. That's no dream. change, we'll just get there. Yeah, so we've got, huh? what have we got? 16 knots coming in, 120 degrees just off our port side. Yeah. So it's on that port side quarter, it's filling the head sail really nicely. Uh -huh. Very happy. I feel so relaxed now after all the like stress of leaving this morning and this is great. We've definitely discovered uh, in the bigger seas. She slams a bit. Yeah, I went inside to get uh, something from the cupboard and I thought that you had fallen into the sea because I just heard a massive crash and then a splash and I was like, oh, is everything okay? We've actually just crossed to Bekwe. We would have been stopping in there, but uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna power on down, get past the bottom of Bekwe, and then we'll maybe take a look at what islands uh, are further down for us.
think we've both been really surprised at the the kind of emotional toll that it's taken from us. Um, rather than just going out for a day sail, um, it's the very first sail that we're doing on this boat. Um, so we've had to figure out a lot of things as we go along. Every time we hear a noise, we're having to think, is that a noise that's just normal and okay? Or is that something that is a sign of something else happening that shouldn't be? So we're having to go and investigate it every time. But also, we are just self-consciously analyzing everything and thinking, well, do, do we like this boat? Does it sail well? Do we want to live like this? And we have to just stop doing that, I think. We just have to live in the moment a little bit more and enjoy the day for what it is. Um, because we both realized that we are really, really exhausted. I guess we're putting all of our hopes and dreams into this boat and really hoping that everything works out. Um, and I suppose the closer that we get to carry a coup, the closer we get to our survey. And that's really the only thing left to, to help us decide. We are nearly at Union, so we can't wait to just stop and get the anchor down. I'm slightly nervous about that challenge to just this is the first time that we've anchored, so we need to check if the chain is even attached to anything. So the sun is on its way to setting and we're almost at Union. We're going to turn the engines on in a second and then just uh, navigate through a little narrow gap and come around and hopefully find an anchorage that we can stay in for the night. We've just had a call that the ferry has come in, so the resources are here to get our PCR tests done. So we're heading in to meet Sister Jones round at Clifton just now, and uh, hopefully all go well and we'll get them back pretty soon. Good evening. Ah, thank you. I'm hoping this one is going to be slightly less traumatic than the ones we did ourselves back in the UK. <laughs> oh, it's goopy. I've got to put it in my nose now. Yep. Let's <coughs> yeah. go right now. Which side do you? Well, that was an experience. <laughs> I feel like I lost my key points. Ugh. She actually stabbed me in the brain. You know that feeling when, when, well you won't, maybe you have, maybe you had this done, but when someone does the test and they put it in your head and you can feel it in the back of your eye. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. You can actually feel it rubbing the back of your yeah, eye. Yeah, it went right up here and then she <laughs> went in a bit further. Oh. Uh, we're going to be doing that for days. My eyes were streaming, like the one we did at home, because we did it ourselves. Well, you could feel, it says, go until you feel resistance. She went yeah. well, oh, no, past, well that. past that. Yeah, we both kind of went, ow, yeah, ow, Ooh. ow, and she just kept going deeper. It was, it was like the whole test tube depth. The stick went in like oh, that deep into yeah. your head. And, yeah. and then she hands you a tissue and she's like, it might be bleeding. And just hands <laughs> you a tissue. Just casually. <laughs> Well, then I was nervous that she was going to do the throat, but she said, no, I don't need to because I put it so far up your nose, it's gone to the back of your throat. And it just feels so odd. But, oh, it's, but done, it's done. And I won't need to clean the sinuses for weeks. No. <laughs> oh, I feel so weird. Oh, I don't recommend it. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, if any of you are looking to travel at this point in time... Just don't. It's not worth it's, it. Yeah, it's, it's not probably worth not it. worth the effort right now. Because <laughs> it hurts. With our headaches still lingering, the next day we ran the super shallow dinghy ride into town to collect our results, passing a few locals on the way. It's strange to think this could be a taste of our life to come, and on balance, the commute isn't all that bad. What have you got? The moment just to find out if we have COVID. Woohoo! I go first I, mean, I was assuming when they phoned us up and told us our tests were ready that they would know they were negative because otherwise they would say quarantine on your boat, don't come anywhere near us. But we come here Mass and they're stapled shut. They're like really stapled so shut. So they've got no idea what the results are. Kind of not sure we're supposed to open them. This could take some time. This is like the slowest reveal ever made on camera. And the results are for Cameron Mail. Cameron's got my name on it, that's good news. It's got a doctor in Clifton, Union. 
I am negative. Booyah! Negative! Ooh, you can go. I'm allowed to go. To Grenada. And now for the deciding factor of whether or not. Can I come too? <laughs> you, you are. <laughs> Boom! And with that, we were all set to leave for Karaoke. So what better way to soak up our last few hours in the Grenadines than to jump into its crystal clear waters for a swim. Thanks for joining us. To find out more, visit our website and follow us on social media at Real Red Seas. If you haven't already, remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And to support us further, come and join our community on Patreon.